Hey guys, even here, and this video we are starting with a physique update of Big Ramy at 9 weeks out of the Iron Classic that he just might do. And I gotta say, in this video, damn, Big Ramy looks freaking massive like really freaking big really full really round and he looks like there is nothing wrong with his physique it's really hard to notice anything look at the biceps and the triceps right here everything is just looking really fresh and he is looking super full the body fat percent is fine it's good for nine weeks out right and like he looks really freaking massive I mean, look at his most muscular, for example, he has that crazy, crazy width, and like his chest is popping like crazy, his arms look really full, really nice and round, they used to be a strong body part for him, but, you know, the last two shows, Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia, he kind of lost that fullness, that freshness, but now, I don't think so, check this out, check out the biceps and the triceps, like, Maybe it's not completely back, but it's definitely looking much better. Definitely much, much better. So really the question is, should he do the Arnold Classic? Should he jump in? Or should he just wait until the Mr. Olympia and make even more improvements? But how much better can he really get? Check out the triceps right here. Like I was telling you, they're looking fuller, nicer, more fresh. Look at that chest as well, it's looking ridiculous. And like with his size, with his width, with his overall mass, he can be a top contender, he can potentially win the Arnold Classic still. Yeah, I know he lost to Hardy at the Mr. Olympia and then also to Samson and Andrew Jack at the Arnold Classic and all those three guys are doing this Arnold Classic, but can Big Remy show up improved? Maybe even bigger than ever, maybe more conditioned than ever? And actually give these guys a run for their money or even beat them and win the Arnold Classic in 2024. Is that a possibility? I would say it's not very likely, but it's definitely possible. I mean, judging based on this video, he looks like he can challenge pretty much everybody in the world. At the Arnold Classic 2023, a lot of people felt like Big Ramy was overlooked. Even with all of his injuries and his issues with his physique, a lot of people felt like he was a little bit robbed at the Arnold Classic. Now, I'm not saying that that was the case. I do think these guys deserve to beat him and that they were better than him, but by how much? I thought they were more polished, they had more pop to their physiques, they were more conditioned, more details, they were definitely fuller, sharper, but is this something that Big Remy can't ever improve? Only two years ago, in 2021, he was still beating Heidi Chupan and everybody else. He was winning the Mr. Olympia. He was the best bodybuilder in the world for two years in a row. And yeah, he didn't have the injuries, the issues, but he never was the guy with the most quality, with the best conditioning, with the best hardness. He was the biggest guy. He simply had the biggest frame that was pretty filled out. And when he brought decent conditioning, it was just too much of a wow factor to be ignored. And based on this most recent physique update, considering how much size he actually has right now, if he actually jumps into the Arnold Classic and he comes in really big and pretty conditioned, and if he properly apologized to Jim Mannion for not doing the Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing, he can actually do really well at the Arnold Classic. He can pull a win. I don't think it's impossible. At this point, I cannot say it's impossible. And I would love to see Big Grammy do this show. And once again, to me, it seems like based on this video that he brought back some of that fullness that he lost somewhere along the way. I think Big Grammy is focused on growing, you know, bringing that old size back. And if he brings that size, if he comes in massive and he does the thing that he was always doing before, if he comes in big, like bigger than everybody, he is still a top threat. He is still not done. He can still come back and be at the top. But if you guys disagree, you can tell me down below. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know down below in the comment section. All right, next up, we got a physique update of Regan Grimes. And the last time he shared an update, he was 305 pounds. And now he posted this photo, and in the caption he says... 300 club 
if he was 305 or heavier than that ideally, I was expecting him to keep growing. If he was 310, he wouldn't say 300 club, he would say 310 pounds. So this tells me he probably fell back, he probably went down to 300 pounds. Is the reason for this him losing the drive, not being willing anymore to push the food and the training and he wants some time off during the holidays or something like that? Not necessarily. Here's what I think and this is complete speculation, so based on the way he looks right now, uh, he lost that hardness, that 3D that he used to have after the Mr. Olympia for a while. Now this is normal, you won't have that crazy 3D fullness and roundness and hardness year round, of course. If you competed, you know how it is after the show, you're still shredded, but your glycogen is fully loaded, and you just look so much bigger, but you're still very lean, so that's basically the time you look the best, you know, in the gym at least, you wouldn't look that good on the stage. And Regan is slowly losing that, of course, part of the reason is time, you know, after a while of your glycogen being super full, you're gonna spill over a little, you're gonna hold more sub -Q water, and you will gain some fat, a little bit of fat. You won't be stage lean all year round, of course, but also I think he may have went off the gear. You know, he probably kept it in for some time after the after the Mr. Olympia to have a really successful rebound, and he did. You know, he went up to 305 with great conditioning. Now I guess he's down to 300, and he lost some of that hardness and, and those details and that graininess that he had, so I'm assuming he's now doing a health phase, and I like that approach, I think it makes sense, after the show when you're sensitive to everything and you're really growing a lot, you know, keep a little bit of stuff in, and then after a while and you really maximize your rebound, you go off, you recover, you work on your health, and then after the health phase you start pushing again, so if he can continue to really train hard and still be on the regimen, and, you know, maintain that weight of around 300, once he starts blasting again, he's gonna go over, and we all know for Regan to be, you know, actually a top contender, and I'm talking about the Mr. Olympia, I mean, he was 9th, there aren't that many spots for him to jump over, I mean, going from 9th to, like, 3rd, it's, it's a long road, but still, it's a possibility, I think he can do it, for him to be that successful, he needs to be way heavier than 300 pounds in the offseason, because he's a taller bodybuilder, I mean, look at Samson Dauda, he's 300 on the stage, and they are similar height, so if Regan wants to get there, he needs to be heavier, this is good, 300 pounds in the offseason, if he can maintain this for a while, and then push it up to at least 320 or 330, ideally like 340, I know he doesn't like to be super heavy, you guys remember when he went to oxygen gyms and they were forcing him to be heavy, he didn't like even being 300 pounds, let alone 340 now, but that's what it's gonna take, if he wants to be at the top, that's what he needs to do, he needs to get bigger, and that's it really, I think last year he made a lot of progress with Milos Sharchev in the offseason, hopefully he will make more progress, his plan is to compete later, next, actually this year, sorry, before the Mr. Olympia, so he has time, hopefully he's gonna spend it wisely and actually get bigger, if he does that, I don't know, there is no limit for this guy if you ask me, he's very complete, very very good structure, he has all the tools necessary to be one of the top guys, the only thing once again, mass, whatever you guys think, let me know down below. Alright, and finally, we got a physique update of Horse MD, 9 weeks out of the Arnold Classic, and hell, he looks impressive, he looks really good right now, of course, conditioning is very good, but why wouldn't it be, I mean, he competed very recently at Romania Pro, so he just maintained the conditioning, it wouldn't make sense for him to get fat now, of course, this is not stage lean yet, but he's gonna be shredded, no doubt about it, and I believe he's gonna make progress in the process as well, he's gonna, I think he's gonna grow into the show, I think he's gonna be better at the Arnold Classic than he was at Romania, and he was really good at Romania, now here you can see his back a lat spread, and it's looking really good, and it's a really good pose for him, like he has that crazy width in the shoulders, 
and his legs from behind like especially hamstrings are looking really good his glutes get shredded as well and the back actually tends to look really wide in the back lat spread in the back double bicep it looks horrible it looks super flat there is no pop there are no lats it's actually really hard to find photos of that so i'm not even gonna bother but i'm telling you back double bicep not looking very good but back lat spread is looking phenomenal as you can see right here and basically majority of his poses are really good i think this guy is very underrated uh, he was like before the the romania pro a lot of people were saying that he's only hype that he's only a social media bodybuilder instagram bodybuilder he proved everybody wrong he looked incredible on that stage and i think it was very close between him and becherus tabani especially because of those legs those legs are probably the best legs on that stage and he could have easily placed second in this show so i think this guy is very underrated he's actually a really good stage bodybuilder and we'll see what he's gonna do at the arnold classic but he has a chance a legit chance of cracking the top five if he comes in improved if he comes in shredded with basically the same shape the same size he had at the romania pro i don't know this guy can do some real damage that show but whatever you guys think let me know down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to support me and help me reach 50k subscribers just click that subscribe button thank you so much guys for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye